All right, good evening, everybody. Um, making a watch list for Tuesday. This is Monday night. Um, I'm gonna start off with the ones with the most uh, volume. So right here, we're gonna start off with Full Locker. Uh, Full Locker basically fell off a cliff and we're looking at the next resistance down here at about $25. Uh, right now, <clears throat> it's a little too extended for me. I would like to see a pullback and then we can uh, watch these moving averages catch up in order to make uh, the next move. You know, this was a drawdown because of earnings. They went down uh, 20%, I think 27% they missed. So we're looking for more downside, but it's a little uh, too extended in a say, in a say, right? Uh, so we just have to see a little bit of a pullback so that we can get involved and have a better risk to reward, right? Um, the next that I see is uh, XOM. <clears throat> so XOM has this down motion here, um, broke out to the upside. Now we're stuck in this box. So now if you go down to the one hour chart, um, we are still bearish, but I am looking for a breakdown below 104 so that we can get down to this 102 level. So that's 104 to 102, roughly $2. And then uh, you, if we break down below this box, you can see a continuation to the downside, right? And at that point, um, the next resistance will come in around here in this 97 area. So basically from 104 to 102 on the box, and then after it breaks down from the box, you can f uh, find the next support right here at 97. And then after that support at 97, we have 81. So I'm looking at XOM right uh, for a short um, XOM then we have CVX same thing if we look at the hour chart um, you can see that it's trapped in a box we have this down motion and now we're looking for a breakdown and if we break down um, from this 151 area we can see the next resistance here I mean the next support at 149 now um, after that 149 we can see some more downside uh, especially if you zoom out to the daily chart, you can definitely see it better. Yeah, so we have this 149. And then after that, we have this 138 level, which matches up with the bottom of this channel. So let's see if we're going to get more sell off. Maybe we'll have some more sideways action. But I'm looking for a break of this 151 followed by 149. This would be where I would start getting heavy at 149. And then we can see our next support at 138. All right. Um, the next stock that I'm looking at is RTX. Right. So you can see that RTX um, basically has been going sideways. Right. And uh, we're basically at a support here. So in order for us to be bearish here, uh, we have a little box over here. So we can see that it came back up to the 21 moving average. We see a rejection, uh, two bearish candles. So the next bearish candle under 95 should take us down to 94. And then you have the support here. So once we break down under 94, that's when you can start getting heavy into a short position or a, a put. Um, but RTX um, has this, a little bit of support here at 92, not that strong. But I believe that if we break below this 94 level, um, we can fly back, fly past this uh, 92 level and reach down the 87. So we'll be looking at 87. Now um, I'm going to add this to the watch list. So that's RTX, right? Um, so we're seeing some in the uh, energy and some in the industrial, right? So right now, um, I'm going to continue going down this list. Um, I'm looking at BJ. Uh, that's uh, BJ Wholesale. So I'm going to add that to that list also. And we're going to take a look at that chart. So basically, right now, we have this downtrend. Everything's under the 50 moving average. Moving averages are aligned. And we're looking for a breakdown uh, below this 69 level. And after the 69 level, we can see a breakdown down to the 66 level. So that's why BJ is in the list. Um, we still have a good opportunity here for this breakdown. If you go down to the one hour chart, um, you can clearly see that we're still in this constant downtrend and there's really nothing um, telling us otherwise, right? Yeah, so you can see on this uh, downtrend here, this is actually the perfect opportunity for a short. You see this downtrend uh, comes up to this line, rejects, come up to this line, rejects. Now we're back at this line. Um, if it breaks out, you leave it alone until you get bullish confirmation. And if we break down, um, if you see an entry signal, you can actually take this before the breakdown, or you would wait until it actually breaks that 69 level. And then you can see the next support at uh, 66 right here. Okay. So that's how I'm looking at BJ. That's why BJ is on the list. So this is a bearish list, right? 
So um, we saw industrials with uh, RTX. We also have UPS and the bearish side. So right here we see three bearish candles and we're looking for a breakthrough, uh, a breakdown um, below this 169 area. And then you have uh, 166 as your next support. And then you have this 161 area. So um, a little bit of resistance and um, a little bit of support coming in. But if this breaks to the upside, I would leave it alone because this is a short idea. And if it breaks down below this 169, you can see it come down to this 166 level. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to the list. UPS, right? So now remember, when the market opens, you're going through your list, right? And you're basically scrolling, looking for the ideas as they break down um, according to the game plan that you have. So write out the ideas, write out the game plan and um, have it ready so that you have your watch list. This is how watch lists are used. And then you can scroll through them as the market is moving, as you're witnessing what's going on with the actual market, right? So this is a quick five stocks that I'm going to give you. Um, now let's switch over to the bullish list. So I'm going to create Monday bullish list. So in this bullish list, we have AMD. So we're going to start out with AMD. So we can see that AMD uh, broke out of this bull flag that I had drawn uh, yesterday morning. Now we're at this resistance here. Um, a break tomorrow above this 108 area should take us into the next resistance. So if we look at the daily chart here, um, you can see that there's a bit of resistance here. But a break above this level will give us room until the next resistance up here around 117. So that's what I'm looking at um, with AMD. So that's why AMD is on the list. Um, a lot of people think that uh, a lot of these stocks are overbought, um, which they probably are. I don't really like that term overbought. Um, I like to say we are bullish and there's no, there's nothing telling us otherwise. Now, if we start selling off and we start breaking through these support levels right here at the nine and then at the 21, and then we get below the 50, then it's like, okay, the stock is no longer bullish. But as of now it is bullish. That's why it's on the list. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five days of bullish action. And now we had a little bit of consolidation and now this is the first day out of that consolidation. So AMD is on the list, right? So we have AMD. Uh, we're going to take a look at the SPY. The SPY right now, if we look at the weekly chart, um, it's breaking out of this heavy uh, consolidation that was in here for the last three weeks. And now if we break above this resistance area here, 420 and get above this 426 area, then SPY would be extremely bullish. And I would see it run up at least until this uh, 430 area where it will retest this uptrend here. And then possibly we can see some drawback. Um, there's a lot of talks about the debt ceiling and the negotiations. Um, I'm not sure what exactly is concrete at the moment, but I'm going to follow the charts and I'm going to follow what the charts are telling me. I don't like to look at too much news because I don't like my head to be filled with biases. All right. So um, SPY is bullish at the moment. So that's uh, on your, on the list and you should be watching the SPY while you're day trading because that is a indicator of what the market is doing. So we also have Apple on the daily chart. You can see here, Apple's been in a steady uptrend. Now we're at this resistance here, right? At uh, 175 and we had a little bit of a drawback, but today we kind of had a little bit of bullish action um, but basically a neutral candle, right? So we want to see if tomorrow we're going to trade above and then get above this 176 area so that we can continue being bullish on Apple, right? And then maybe we can reach all time highs. So Apple's on the list because Apple is 100% a bullish stock right now, right? Um, after Apple, I'm looking at MU. I've been uh, talking about this stock for some days now. Um, I like that it came out of this range in here popped up. Now we had a little bit of re retracement and it's still bullish. So tomorrow would be a prime, prime time to get involved with the stock above 67 here. Right. And then the next resistance is about is about uh, 72. So roughly that's a six dollar move. So MU is going to be on my list. Right. Because it's bullish. Right. And uh, we're looking for 
bullish stocks so that we can have bullish plays, right? We're not going to take a bearish stock for a bullish play because you're playing and you're driving on the wrong side of the highway. So, um, MU is on my list. Next, I have NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA has earnings coming up um, right here on uh, Wednesday. So, we'll see what happens there. Um, today, we had this bear flag going on here as I drew out this morning. And we barely broke the, the I'm sorry, not bear flag, excuse me. It's a bull flag. Um, so, this bullish stock, bull flag. Um, tomorrow, let's see if we have a run up from here, 313, all the way up to 319. Now remember, NVIDIA usually runs relative to AMD. AMD kind of had the same move here, but let's see if we can see NVIDIA follow that same movement tomorrow. So uh, be prepared. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if this gaps up um, and that's on the bullish list, right? Um, Google, wait, let me add NVIDIA here. So we have NVIDIA and uh, now we have Google, right? So if we take a look at this stock and we go back to the daily chart, we can uh, pretty much see here, if we remove this, that uh, we're at this resistance right here, right? We just got past it, barely, uh, this 122 resistance, right? Which happens to be a swing high over here. And I wanna see continuation on the stock um, for the next resistance, which is gonna be up here around 142. Right. So if we get past this 125, 126 area, then we can see it run up from this 126 area to this 142. Now, I don't believe that it will do that until we have some consolidation or a drawback until the next move. But um, all you have to do is follow the price action, have your entries and exits, follow this pattern here. And when you see your entry signal, you enter. OK, so right now I'm looking over 126 for Google. So Google's on the list. Uh, next up, we have Meta, right? Um, if we go back to the daily chart, zoom out a little bit. Uh, let's clear this chart. It looks a little messy right now. Okay, so here we go. Um, so Meta, Meta right now got above this resistance here, had a little bit of a drawback, and it looks like we had a bullish push and then it came back down. So let's see if tomorrow we get follow through. I'm looking at Meta over 154. Um, you can probably take a little earlier if you get into smaller time frames. Meta has a lot of a lot of room to move up um, with the next resistance around 309 here. So if we go down to the hour chart on Meta, you can clearly see here that we had this bullish move retracement, and now we're getting this steady uh, momentum here. So we had this sideways action, and then it came out. So I would start drawing my line here, right, right here, and let's see if we get the push up. From Meta, so um, overnight it gap down and retraced very quickly back to the upside, and now we have another drawdown. And now let's see if we get a pop tomorrow, right? If it breaks down, I'm gonna leave it alone. This is a bullish stock, so I want to take bullish plays. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, we have Meta on the list. Let's add Meta to the list. Now um, another bullish stock that's been here is uh, UPST Upstart. Let's see how much space we have left um, for Upstart. I know that it's been up for a while now. So looking at Upstart, it finally um, came out of this consolidation here. And we're actually looking for follow through and Upstart. So this is the first time that it's coming out of this range. So tomorrow, I want to see it trade above 29 and hold, right? So if it trades above 29 and holds, then we can see uh an entry pattern um whichever you use and then uh the next resistance is right here at 35 so after that uh we have a lot of room right all the way up to 80 and it has uh, this gap right here that it has to fill so um pay attention to this 56 level and uh 35 and then 56 and then we can see this uh run up to like about 85. so this is a good um long hold if you start seeing bullish push and bullish momentum so this is something that I would have on my long-term watch list also. Um, if I remember correctly, I think Wayfair kind of looks like this uh, stock also. Yeah, so uh, Wayfair had more of a bearish tone to it. But right here, we can see that we have consolidation. We're at the bottom of the box. If Wayfair breaks down, leave it alone. Or you can get into a bearish short. Um, but if it starts breaking up, um, you can see the spikes here in volume. That could be a signal of accumulation. 
So um, take a look at Wayfair and see if we start punching up, right? So we had uh, two days of drawback in uh, Wayfair. So let's see if we see some buyers. If we don't see some buyers, just leave it alone. Um, I, honestly, I like I like Upstart more than uh, Wayfair. So that's also on the list. I'm not gonna put Wayfair on the list. I'm not I'm not too crazy about it. I want to see it start pushing up a little more, right? Um, so we have also we have uh, Microsoft. And Microsoft has been super bullish. Let's clear this chart here. It looks a little messy. Uh, sometimes when I'm day trading, I'm drawing patterns and stuff, and that's what you see there. But um, on the daily here, we got past this resistance for sure, a 312. Right now, we're four days into a bullish move. Um, I would like to see a pause in this stock before I start getting involved. At the moment, uh, we're looking at this resistance right here at uh, 322, and there's really not much in the way of this stock it has all this room to go up i just would like it to um pause a little bit so that you can have a better risk to reward because right now it's ran up um quite a bit and normally i would like to see a healthy retracement here right so um let's put microsoft on the list i like microsoft so we don't forget that um this is one of the bullish stocks on the list right we have a uh, shop i remember shop had this bull flag also and um, we're looking for follow through. So we kind of broke through this bull flag. Let's see if tomorrow we get follow through to the upside. I think that shop should be at the top of your list. Honestly, I like the way that it broke out here and it held. And then I want to see it finally. Um, if tomorrow you get a chance to catch it here and then you go to the smaller time frame and you see an entry, I would definitely start uh, building a position here. And then if you get over 65, we can definitely see this move be replicated over here. Right. So boom boom all the way up to like the 72 area so um let's kind of see where the next resistance is yep right here 72 area just like i said so that's what i'm looking at with shop i'm i really i really like the way that this is pulling back um this has a good beta it moves on its own it really doesn't care what the market does i really like shop i really like shop and i really like um nvidia okay so um let's see what those earnings are going to do um next on the list i like uh I know GE has been running for a long time, so we can uh, take a look at that. Right here, we have this consolidation. Uh, two days out of this consolidation. Let's see if tomorrow we get follow through. If we get back inside this box, leave it alone. Don't don't even waste your time. Remember, you're looking for probability trades. So we have one, two, three days outside of this consolidation, and this looks like a good opportunity if we open around the same area. So take it all the way up to 105, and then after 105, if it breaks out. Um, this could be a, a nice little swing, uh, being that this, this stock has just been crushing it for like the last few weeks, months, almost a year, right? So we see for the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months. So seven months of buying over here in GE, okay? So GE should be on your list and you should keep an eye on that because buyers are all over it. So that means you should be too, right? Uh, we have D-Dog. Massive, massive buying here. Um, let's go back to the daily chart. So right here, we still have room all the way up to 106. Now we have a pause. And I want you to notice this consolidation over here, right? So this is a good time to get involved with the stock. So D-Dog is definitely going on my list. <clears throat> now we're going to see what happens with this uh, debt ceiling talks. And uh, we have RCL. So RCL also has some room. A little consolidation here. Let's see if we get a breakout above 81. And we can see the next resistance at 84, 85 level, right? So we have RCL, right? So this is the watch list for tomorrow, guys. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, you can pause it. There's a lot of stocks in here. Uh, take a look at these. And let's see. If RCL breaks down back inside this range and then breaks down, just leave it alone. It's a bullish stock. And you don't want to be shorting or calling tops on uh, bullish stocks because you can get ran over. Because when you see buying like this, and then you think that this is the top because you drew a channel, Next thing you know, it gets all the way um, up here somewhere, right? Like, for example, uh, te Tesla has been somewhat bullish. But if you really notice, it's been uh, there's a resistance right here. We can see a uh, follow through tomorrow all the way up to this 200 level. So tomorrow uh, we're looking for continuation, right? We're looking for continuation and a breakout above this 189 level is going to move all the way up to this 187, 199 area. OK, so um, that's it, guys. I hope you have a great night. Um, I didn't set up my camera so you can't see my face. But thanks for watching. And until tomorrow, be patient. 
And I know that we have FOMC coming up on Wednesday. So um, usually before FOMC, you don't really see too much movement, but you are a trader. So you have to be vigilant and you have to be ready. Okay. So have a good night and thanks for watching.